Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragonvale World. I hope you are all ready to work as dragon keepers here in our wonderful realm today because uh, you know we've got a lot to do and I am very excited to hatch the Pasea dragon egg. At least I think that's what is actually here inside of our hatchery. I hope you guys have been studying up on your dragonarium so that you can recognize this lovely, lovely egg. I definitely want to hatch it pretty darn sure this is the Pasea. If that is the case, then I immediately want to go and I want to get the gorgeous, the absolutely beautiful koi fish Pasea dragon. Look at this guy! He is the cutest little goldfish and I have been saving my enchanted crystals exactly to make sure that we can get him and once we have an enchanted Pasea, I can actually clear out the special potion that we have in the brewery so that we can try to increase our odds of hopefully being able to snag ourselves a mantis dragon. I'm not exactly sure which potion I would use to do that but I definitely have to make it happen. So alright, let's just go ahead and this time dive in. Well, let's go into the nest first. It's probably pretty important to sort through. I do want to hatch that egg like now, but do I have room? Okay, give me just a second. Eh, eh. Oh no, I hate it when I turn the screen like this. All right, hang on guys. Today, we're going to be looking at the world from a new angle and let's gather up all of the food. I just want to get this done really quickly. So let's plant all of the berries into our treat dragon fields. I have to say Marigold and her fleet of grain and bitter dragons have been doing wonderful work for us. It's still pretty tricky to be able to get as much food as I want and we're totally broke. Is that thing done? I don't think, yeah, there's still a whole day left on this forest over there. So the new forest is not yet ready, but once it is, we will have a great area to move our mech dragons, to move the bank over here. I can start spending money on clearing out these like 250,000 coined purple wildflowers. They must be some sort of like rare species. I have no idea why they're so expensive. Uh, but I have noticed that by the way, that clearing out new things gets more and more expensive in the newer areas. So just remember that every time you unlock an area, it's, it's gonna cost you a ton of dragon cash to clear that area out too. But thankfully, one of the best sources of dragon cash, which I am sure all of you know in your economics class, uh, here in the, it used to be a snackery and now it is actually the Dragon University. Uh, completely ignore the fact the sign still says Sebastian Snackery. But I'm sure as all of you know from your studies here, that some of the best sources of dragon cash in the realm are our zodiac dragons, or our zodia dragons even. So I do think it's going to be worth it to go through and to upgrade a couple more spots and put some Paseas in there and then eventually we can put everybody in the right order and even pile dragons on top of each other. Keeping in mind you can only have two Zodia dragons per habitat though. So I'm now that I know that for sure, I'm not quite so inclined to collect as many of them as I used to. So if this is a Pasea, it's going to be our one and only special Pasea. Uh, it's going to be the only one that we will have of the normal variant and we will start shooting for trying to get the enchanted variant. Let's go ahead and hatch open these eggs really quickly. This is a little rhyme dragon. I hope she finds a good home. Hang in there, Priscilla. We're not ready for you yet. And then this, what are you? Oh, it's another Mistral dragon. That's really cool. I think I needed him to breed something, to breed the Pasea, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I needed him to breed the Pasea in the first place. So I might hold on to him in, for just a second, but let's come over and finally get this egg going. All right, this is totally going to be a Pasea. It, there's nothing else it could be to completely throw me off and make me go, what? And be some other rare creature. <gasps> it is! I mean, oh, that was so cute. That was <laughs> so cute, Nibata. I I know I've mentioned it to you guys before, but I seem to have a soft spot for dragons that come in twos, like all of our Gemina dragons that were twins flying around with one another. I think I have that same soft spot with the Paseas. So let's see how this little guy, guys, how these little guys, whoops, that's a stalwart sycamore, not my hibernation cave. This is what happens when you have to look at the world from a different angle. Everything is just weird. 
Uh, there you are. How you doing, buddy? <gasps> look at him! Look at him, guys! Oh my gosh, look at that tail! It is like a beautiful flower! That is so cool! And his little bobbing head action is so adorable! <laughs> I love you, little guy. You are going to be so much fun. Look at that, and they share the food when you feed him. This is too cute. This is one of my favorites. I can see why you guys were super excited that we got this as our bring him back potion. Because so many of you all of a sudden were like, yay! And I was like, oh my gosh, what's up? It turns out that they are ridiculously cute. That's what is up. So let's toss them some fresh dragon, dragon roots, dragon snaps, zazzberries. In fact, now I can tell you guys early, if you would like to leave a like, we can imagine that you are now tossing the delicious fruit to our newbie. Please make sure to leave plenty of them because I need just a little bit more food. Come on! No! We were so close. We were just one level away. I wanted to be able to make him a teenager. That's what I was doing. Oh, well. All right. So our beautiful Nibada, Nidaba, excuse me, who will probably be given a new name from our patrons in the future, is going to come and live over here. So let's unlock this Zodia habitat. Yes, I, I'm aware it will cost some of my precious gemstones, but that's okay. That's what they're for. And ta-da! Wonderful! And now, like, we've got, we, we've got all of them unlocked. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that is so satisfying. Okay, and let's come over. Let's find a dragon. And we are going to take... Oh, I have so many of them. We are going to take this little guy. And let's plunk... Well, guys? Guys, I, I, I feel like I need to use plural because there's two brains. So we're going to take these guys and put them down right here. Oh, they're so beautiful and colorful. I am really, really, really in love with this type of dragon. Oh, how much would it cost? It? 25 gemstones. Okay, it costs a little bit too much just to see your teenage form, buddy. I'm just going to have to tell my t my treat dragons to please, like, get on it. We have an order up on the Zodia Mountain. ASAP stat. I need, I need more. Oh my goodness, have I not fed this treat dragon? Hermes, who I still need to rename after the wonderful names that my patrons and my beloved Chips has given us. You should at least be level 4, Hermes. There you go, little buddy. Here, the pasillas are too big to be able to eat all this food, but there you go. There you go. You deserved that. Oh, I love my bitter dragons. I really thought they were kind of lame. No offense, Marigold, when I first saw them, but I have come to completely love the bitter dragons. Oh, I love how they are working on, like, building up these treat fields. Now I have to give them some more sunflowers because I, I just, I, they're just amazing. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and put down more sunflowers over there. This will end up being like when we used to put down flowers in Horsehaven and every time I would play, I would put down just two or three more and suddenly the entire place was full of flowers. It was fantastic. But all right, so that tackled the Pasea dragon. We have a Mistral dragon because I think I needed a Mistral dragon for the Paseas. And then we have our Vergias and two alpine dragons. I did actually breed up another alpine dragon. I think I did that off camera without you guys. And I, I gave her as much food as I could. I think she's actually level 15. And plunked her down with one of my Vergia dragons. So we actually have two Vergia dragons attempting to get us that mantis dragon. Uh, that clearly didn't work there. And that didn't work there. So unfortunately, neither of those worked. Let me check what I need for a Pasea dragon again. Because, oops, well, hang on you two. Alright, maybe I won't check there because I do want those two to breed to try to get the... To try to get the Mantis dragon. But how do you get the Enchanted Pasea again? Eh? Oh, you need a Newt dragon too, and I only have one of those. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead... Okaga, we're gonna give you a new home because I only have like so many dragons. We're gonna come over here and while we still have the Pasea potion going, brewing inside of one of our cauldrons, we're going to come and get another dragon boost because I want to try to guarantee this Pasea, the beautiful koi fish one, and we're gonna make one of these guys. So let's do this. I'm gonna brew this up 
This is going to use up some of my precious star brewing potions. Oh, and we just got the boost brew beginner achievement. That's cool. However, guys, believe it or not, we're rapidly coming up on the 100th episode of our Dragon Veil vale adventures, which I'm sort of stunned that it has gone that fast. And when we reach it, I actually plan on opening the grand, the amazing, the absolutely over the top chest that so many of you guys have told me to crack open, the gold chest. So we will be opening maybe one or two or even three gold chests to celebrate 100 episodes in the near, well, not near future. We're still a little bit away from it, uh, but we will be doing that in the future. No, 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 no. Wait, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. For some reason, <laughs> don't mind me. I thought that was the wrong potion. I was daydreaming about what it would be like to crack open those gold chests and the glimmer of the treasure inside. And I, I glanced back just as I was like pouring something in. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the wrong potion, but it's the right potion. We're okay. Everybody's, everybody stay calm. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna try to get that enchanted Pasea. We're gonna have new and Fujiyam. Uh, come over. I really need to give them different names. I feel like Fujiyam wants a different name. He's a mistral dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to think about that. And it's kind of amazing that our newt dragon is level 18 and still looks so small. But they have a 20% chance of having a Pasea egg. And I actually have four crystals. So let's see. That's not it. That's not, that's not it. I appreciate the attempt. I really do. What is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. What did they just give me? <laughs> you know what this means, guys. We're about to have another mystery enchanted egg hatching spree <laughs> if this keeps up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's try again. Enchanted Pasea. Dun dun dun. Not enchanted Pasea. Again, I appreciate the effort. I'm, I'm squinting. I don't think I have that one either. Okay. I'm going to speed up these two eggs just really quickly. We have actually practically, uh, in the course of attempting to get the, the mantis dragon off camera, I probably have hatched an entire Christmas field full of these fur dragons, just so you know. All right, so we have two new enchanted eggs. I'm pretty sure I don't have whatever that is. And I have, if I open up one more chest, so if I can like ship off the airship really quickly, we might be able to get one more enchanted crystal. Let's do this. But with the final two spaces that we have inside of the hatchery today, everyone gather around. Take some deep breaths. Take out your notes. You are all my wonderful students of our Dragon University. Let's see how we go with another crystal. Boom. Guaranteed outcome of an enchanted dragon. Observe, students. Clearly this will be a Pasea. That's how magic works, right? Oh, I think it is. <laughs> All right, I think that that is actually a Pasea dragon. All right, and we saved ourselves two spots. We can actually come on down here and students gather around. Let's finish up the day by trying our luck with the magic of mixing together Pony or Alpine dragon. I need to rename these dragons. What the heck am I doing? And Agba, who also needs renamed, our enchanted Labria dragon, and let us breed the two of them together. No luck there. We have more Christmas trees on the way. I'm kind of tempted just to use the crystal just for just for fun on the next one. Well, you know what? I've got a wild idea in my wizard hat. I'm gonna do it just for fun because I'm sure that you guys are lucky enough and you have tossed enough fruit at all of my wonderful dragons that this is going to be the mantis dragon and we're gonna get the enchanted mantis dragon like the first time we get it. Just straight to the enchanted mantis dragon. I trust you guys. Well, I don't think that's an enchanted mantis dragon. And I think I already have that enchanted variant. <laughs> that, 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 that's, um, 
Let's see. Let's look over the Dragon University. A ball? No, it's not a ball log. It's a, bor a borealis dragon. Uh, pretty sure somewhere over here. Do I have an enchanted borealis? Okay, well, you know what? I think the Aurora Borealis is beautiful and I appreciate all of your help at getting an enchanted Borealis dragon. Maybe we should stick to just, we're breeding up fir trees. We're just breeding up Christmas trees at this point. <laughs> That's fine. We have a few mysteries that will be waiting for us. I shouldn't be doing this. Don't, don't, don't copy me students. Like make sure you do your own work. Don't copy the teacher. Don't spin your gemstones like this. This is bad, okay? This is bad. I just okay, one more. I'm sure. Come on, come on. <sighs> All right. Well, we will continue. We have plenty of days left. No reason to panic. To get the mantis dragon in the future, and when we come back, I may actually have the enchanted basia to show off to you guys. Cheer about. Just imagine it's beautiful, like swimming through all of these waters. That would be so glorious. And we'll have a couple mystery eggs to hatch open. I'm really curious about this one that looks kind of like an elf, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it looks like a Christmas elf egg. I just have Christmas on the brain, even though Halloween's coming up because of all these fur dragons. But it is a lot of fun. I hope that you guys are having a great time. I love having you here with us. Make sure you join the Dragon University and continue to research in my very cluttered, slightly stressed out way of studying the dragons by subscribing, toss our dragons some treats with a like, and let me know if you have had any luck with anything very cool lately. Did you get some sort of enchanted dragon that you didn't mean to? Have you got the mantis dragon? Or are you still struggling with the final hours of the Labria dragon's egg? Let me know, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!